Hey guys, this is Matt with the Milwaukee Road. Uh, I'm just going to give you guys a, a quick layout update, uh, show, you, show you some things that I'm going to be changing on the layout, um, also uh, some new stuff that I've uh, picked up. So here we go. Um, first thing I'm going to show you, I have these three box cars right here, and they're all have the uh, road name of ONT. I have two hoppers right here, same thing, ONT. And then as I pan out over to the yard, I have these three ONT engines sitting there. I also have another four uh, SD45 uh, uh, ONT engines. Um, all the engines will be getting uh, relettered to uh, MRNT, but I was able to pick these up uh, from a guy off of eBay. His buddy actually passed away, and this was his personal line, so... Um, I was able to pick these up from him, uh, but like I said, the engines are going to get repainted to uh, um, Milwaukee, Racine, and Troy, but in honor of his friend who passed away, uh, those two hoppers and these three boxcars will not be getting relettered. Um, basically, ONT is going, it's a fictional line, um, but uh, it's going to be part of my line just to kind of pay homage to them um you know it's just you know how everyone is in this hobby you know everyone knows knows one another and respects you know what whatever someone else did so that's what i'm doing um so i just wanted to put that out there uh next i'm going to show you i have all of these areas that are all these cars i should say that are new apologize for that phone in the background um and these two are actually the the main lines that will feed into the new addition. Um, the only reason why I put new stuff on these lines is so that I can put the camera down like this and get pictures of it so that I can inventory all the stuff that I have. Um, that way, you know, if I go to a show or something, I can, you know, pull up what, uh, what what's needed. Um, the other thing that I also got was uh, from my buddy Ron... He ended up painting uh, some more uh, um, of these uh, uh, Showtime, or uh, I think it's either Showtime or Showplace. Um, they're really nice kits. I really enjoy them. I've I have a ton of them just because they're so neat. They're detailed. Um, unfortunately, the post office was was not uh, polite on handling them, so have to make some repairs but uh, they are a really good kit um, now I'm going to show you some other new stuff that I picked up I apologize about the mess it's still a mess because of uh, losing a lot of storage starting on this end now I have two more of the Norfolk Southerns coming uh, but these are all the new Intermountain uh, SD uh, 40s uh, these two are just DCC. The two that I have on on their way are DCC Sound. Then I have a total of four Milwaukee Roads, two of which are Sound and two of them are just DCC. Then I have two Sioux Lines, one Sound, one DCC. And then I also was able to pick up, I don't know, it's, they, it's kind of hard to see, um, these Arnold uh, um, RS1s, and they're Burlington Northern. Uh, both of them have uh, DCC, but one of them I would like to try and switch over to sound. Um, and I'll probably patch both of them out. I don't know. I just, I think they're really neat looking. Um, but moving on. <clears throat> now, this is the area that I've been working on the most. If you remember in my past videos, I had... All these butterfly uh, platforms that were all down there. Well, when you have a tall train, these have a tendency of actually, I mean, you can see how this is loose because it'll hit on the side. And most of the time it would cause a derailment or the other times it would just stop the train. So you'd have to come back, move the uh, platform so the train could, could uh, continue underway. Um, what I did was I took all those out and I put in, this is, uh, it's made by Fowler, and these are actually five kits. 
with these uh, uh, glass uh, panels. Um, now the reason why it's red, I'm just going to show you, this is actually one of the windows out of the station. Right, if you can kind of see, it has that red uh, paint on it, so what I did was matched up uh, the red, there you can see, and that way it kind of ties in the uh, platform to the station. Now, I will admit these are a bear to do because each glass is its own panel that you have to put in, and there are 12 pieces per row. So it adds up to a lot and is a pain to do. And as you can see, I still have some more I have to put out. Um, I will also be putting more people on the platforms and doing some more detail work on the platforms. Um, that's all I've been working on in the station area. Right here in La Myra, I ended up uh, putting down some gravel in this area. I still have to come back and do you know, some of the grasses and uh, really detail it up. And again, there's another one of those uh, trucks that I like. So that's what I've done over here. Now this area, this is the Wisconsin Central Fond du Lac yard. This is the area that's gonna have the biggest change. Um, what I plan on doing <laughs> is moving the Wisconsin Central Yard to the new addition. Um, I don't like how compact this area was to begin with. Um, I really like Wisconsin Central. I've been to that yard numerous times when I was a kid, so I really like it. I'm going to have Wisconsin Central and Wisconsin Southern, but I just didn't like that this was such a compact area. So what I'm doing is I'm going to get rid of this yard, put the actual Fond du Lac yard in with uh, the new addition. So it's going to be a much, uh, much larger and more thought out uh, yard, kind of like how the, uh, the Norfolk Southern yard is. And what I'm going to do here, I have a few different options. One, as you can see right here, I'm going to uh, take out this first line, take that switch out and put in a crossover and that's going to feed into a fertilizer plant. And so the road back here is going to continue off, you know, into the background and then come into this uh, fertilizer plant. Um, <clears throat> then this is going to continue on, you know, like I said, this, this line is going to be gone, but the rest of them have the capabilities of staying. And what I'm thinking about doing one of two things, one, keep all these tracks, redo this back area and move my grain facility over here so I can keep more uh, covered hoppers and then that way what I'll end up putting in that area is an oil distribution an oil uh, distribution area or my second thought is keep that there again lose this this first one keep these two tracks and have those be the oil, uh, uh, you know, have tankers sitting on there for uh, loading and unloading. And then the rest of this area be a, a massive tank farm. So that's a couple of the ideas that I'm doing. Um, as far as the main line, these two are the main lines. These two are going to stay. This is my uh, runaround, where you can see where the cars are sitting on. That's going to stay because this is actually going to be my crucial one for feeding the uh, um, fertilizer plant, the sawmill, and the uh, gravel facility down there, as well as either the grain or the oil facility here. And this little two-track um, staging area, these are going to stay because, again, you know, local can come drop off cars or pick up cars, and then whatever switcher is assigned to basically this side can come and, you know, go over these crossovers, pick up cars, put out cars. So that way, uh, th this will be a very busy and active area. But that's all that I have really been working on. Um, you know, again, I don't want to see this, this yard go because I really do like it. Um, it's just too compact. But uh, eventually I'll have a really nice uh, Wisconsin Central yard. So <clears throat> that's all that I've been working on so far. Um, I hope you guys like it, and if you have any questions, comments, please let me know, and, you know, if you guys, uh, you know, think that 
you know, I should uh, do one or the other, let me know. Um, I will do a quick overview of the Norfolk Southern Yard that I have, uh, that I've been working on. <clears throat> I have the uh, scrap yard right here, all set up. Then where that UP is, that track's actually going to be the helper for my helix. Then the, the line goes behind, comes around, and feeds into the Norfolk Southern Yard. And as you can see, you know, I've got a lot uh, sitting out here. Um, you know, I still have to go through and put uh, bushes and overgrowth in, and I still have to build uh, this building, but I have my yard tower in right there, as you can see. And then coming around the side, more of the uh, uh, showcase uh, cars and the yard office. And then those two tracks plus the two mains that will feed into the new addition. So I hope that you guys like how this is coming out. Um, you know, like I said, if you guys have any questions, comments, uh, please let me know. Um, hope that you guys can subscribe. And I hope to get uh, some more videos up as uh, things progress. So hope that uh, everyone had a uh, good Mother's Day. And hopefully uh, you guys can get out and start doing things outside now that the weather is getting nicer. So anyhow, hope you guys uh, have a good one.